Irish Football Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by one of our Republic of Ireland manager, Mick McCarthy. Firstly, Mick, two wins in your back pocket, as you said to me in the training ground when I met you after the Georgia game. Uh, how has it been meeting up with the squad and getting to know them, really? Well, it's been a lot easier, bearing in mind we had two wins, so that was uh, what we wanted, that's what we got. It was great, I loved it being back with the squad. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed to be a real feel-good factor, even in around the, the press conferences, in around training, it seemed to be a much better buzz. Um, how are you adapting to it? I know you said it was hard because you hadn't met the players yet and having them in now. Uh, well, adap adapting to the job was like a pair of comfy slippers, that was no, no problem at all. But it, wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't tough. I'm dealing with footballers, I've been dealing with footballers I've watched and, and pretty much know them through seeing them and, and through interaction with other clubs, playing against them, then playing against my teams. But nevertheless, it's still different when you get them in and you're suddenly coaching them. But that's what I do. I'm a football manager, football coach. We get them on the grass, myself, TC, Robbie as well. Uh, and they responded brilliantly. Yeah, it's great to see Robbie in, interacting and actually training in with the lads as well. He must be a huge boost to have in around the dressing room. I think his influence was kind of lost when he retired then for the last period, the last uh, campaign. I would say he's... Uh, his influence on the pitch was, everybody could see that, but I think his influence in the dressing room and around the place would have been missed, definitely. And it's great that I've got that influence around, because he's still got the ear of the players. He's not that, you know, not that much older than a lot of them, yeah. although Mark Travers might argue that he's only 19. <laughs> but he's, you know, he's still he's one of their peers. Yeah, um, as you just touched on there, Mark Travers is mm -hmm. the first uh, Premier League keeper since, since Joe Hart, 2006, to start a Premier League game. How excited have you been? The buzz around, I suppose, Irish players at the moment. I mean, there's so many as well with Player of the Year, accolades as well. But uh, just M Mark Travers, how happy have you been? You obviously had him in your first squad. I was, I was delighted. Uh, I keep saying, uh, Alan McAnally rang me up. He was doing it for Sky, and of course, this keeper's come out of nowhere. He said, what do you, what do you reckon? I said, different class, he'll be fine. He, uh, he, he impressed everybody when he came in. Uh, on the training ground, he was excellent. Off calm, very polite, very respectful, lovely young fella. So no surprise to me that he did well. Absolutely, and as I just said there about uh, you know so many players getting player of the year awards coming in, into such a crucial period, it must be nice, there must be confidence amongst them, like James Collins, Dan Randolph, Shane Duffy, even Kieran O'Hara got called up as well. So there's so many of them coming in, um, David McGoldrick as well, and getting promotion. So it, it must be great having that kind of confidence coming into our international break now. It is, I just hope they all remember Player of the Year awards. <laughs> it's not finished, <laughs> we've got two games to play. And uh, I was ringing around them yesterday, just reminding them of that, that uh, congratulating them, certainly the Sheffield United lads. But just remember, you know, we've got two games to play and we want to get points out of them. Absolutely, and I know last time I was speaking to you, it was at the Sports Pisa launch, and you were telling me how you'd lost the two players who were scoring goals, and Alan Brown and, and Ronan Curtis, and now it seems to be our strikers are all scoring goals now. David McGoldrick, Shane Long, James Collins, um, even Scott Hogan as well now. Yeah, they've, they've, they've come back. Yeah, we did. We lost, we lost Alan Brown, Callum O'Dowder, Ronan Curtis, all have been scoring. Callum Robinson, he's back. Yeah. Uh, Shane Long's back fit and he's scoring goals. Dids, he's been brilliant. His, his goals have dried up. He's been playing great, David McGoldrick. Um, Scott Hogan came back and scored the goal, which probably saw Sheffield United finally get up. So it's great. Uh, and of course, we had the two midfield players, we had Connor and Jeff, who scored the goals in the last two games. Yeah, um, obviously, we've two huge games coming up now. Um, Providing the results go our way, we could be sitting in a very good position come September. Um, you must be excited with the challenge ahead. Well, we'll only be in a good position if results go our way, because if they don't, we can only look after ours, don't forget. Of course, yeah. Worrying about other people. And Denmark's going to be a much harder task than either of the games, which were difficult enough anyway. Uh, Denmark in Copenhagen, 7th of June. Season's been finished for a month or three weeks with the Premier League. Uh, that is a, it's a game I'm really looking forward to, to test. It's a, it's a different sort of a test, of course. I think them and Switzerland are the best two teams. Yeah. But we can all look after our performances. If we play as well as we did against Georgia in both the games, then I'd anticipate us getting points out of both of them. 
Yeah, you, when I spoke to you as well, um, we spoke about you know how important the crowd were going to be against Georgia. You know, to come back. How, how have you found the welcome back for yourself? Was it as you expected, or maybe more? I've had nothing but goodwill, which has been fabulous for myself, TC, Robbie, all of us. It's been it's been really good, uh, and I think we've all responded to that. I think the players responded to that. Sent to you know, it, it spurred them on. I thought the. Uh, the Gibraltar game we just had to win, which we did. Tough old the evening. Look, at a win's a win. Oh, it's three points. No matter to me, you know, you're preaching to the converted here. Absolutely. And which uh, I'm And Georgia is... Uh, that was a really good performance. And I just thought the whole atmosphere prior to it with the players, the goodwill towards us, all looking forward to us, despite the tennis ball nonsense. But it was brilliant to see that atmosphere back again and, and the crowd supporting the lads I think I think as well it was the way we played as well the crowd really you know uh, got behind that because for a long period before that we just well, we it doesn't matter before that's, uh, that's my view on how we should play Irish teams I've, the only times I've, I've played and I've managed before are teams that get after the opposition we're going to try and play in their half we're trying to hit quick and positive and aggressively and they responded brilliant to the lads I thought they were a really good performance by all of them. Absolutely. And then just lastly, yeah. you were obviously at the game in Waterford last night with the under 17. How impressed have you been with the, the under 17 so far and just the whole spectacle, I suppose? Well, I wasn't at the first one. I was at Billy McNeil's funeral on Friday and TC went and he was impressed. He thought this, how they set up, how they played. He should have won the game, of course. They get, they get a slightly dubious one, I think, with it maybe yeah. offside. Uh, so I was there last night. It wasn't a great game. It was the two two teams who were scrapping it out a little bit. They were both trying to play. Uh, I thought the Czech Republic were a bit more direct and a bit more physical. I was amazed that one of our lads got sent off. I'd missed it actually. I'd gone five minutes before the end. But I was delighted we got a draw, so we're still in it. And we've got Belgium to play on Friday. Huge game. Will it be, I think it's Thursday. Thursday. Are you going to be at it yourself? No, I'm not. Okay, um, well that's really it from me. Thanks very much for your time. Uh, best of luck. I'm sure I'll see you towards the time anyway.